Welcome back Computer Science Essentials students. We're going to hop into modules today and we're going to start using um, the actual textbook. Now you'll notice in the first module was literally just about you being able to turn in some things online, making sure you know how to do it. The assignments themselves were pretty elementary, um, but you should have been able to turn each one of those in online. It says complete all the items before you can move on. And so this time, we're going to look at these items here, and they're going to require you using a uh, online uh, textbook, and I'll show you how to get to that now. So again, you'll see it's grayed out because I'm in student view, and I have not completed these things up here yet. So um, I'll know that they're completed because I see a check mark right here. I'm going to leave student view just so I can show you the examples of what's going on here. And the first thing on our list is another growth mindset assignment. Um, so I did first days of school. Now I'm at uh, lesson one one introduction to computer science. Um, there's yet another growth mindset assignment that you're going to watch the quick video, answer these questions in a Google Doc. Um, bada boop, bada bam, you're done again. Uh, just again, making you think about thinking. Um, the next thing on the list is a um, documentation that comes from the Project Lead the Way website. Uh, it talks to you about what pair programming is, because I use pair programming a lot. Um, and so if you want to just look at what pair programming is, that makes sense. Um, now that we're in COVID quarantine mode, uh, we won't pair program the, quite the way we did before. Um, but again, just so you understand what pair programming is, because actual companies do that. So you need to know what that word means. Now, um, what we're going to do now is the actual intro of Digital Doodle. Um, and you're going to use MIT App Inventor. So you're going to go uh, to MIT App Inventor um, here and then App Overview MIT App Inventor website. Uh, you can watch this video at your pace here. And then um, go ahead and go to next. Now we're getting to the actual assignment, and the assignment is, uh, the first part here is vocabulary. I've given you a vocabulary uh, template we call a temp chart, and the temp chart um, has a vocabulary term, um, the meaning that I actually took from the Project Lead the Way website. Um, I gave an example of what they are, and then there's a picture of me actually uh, using those so that I know them. I've put your vocabulary words here for you. So all you have to do then is copy and paste the definitions. As you work through uh, the assignment, you'll be able to fill in examples of and take some screenshots of you using these things uh, or take pictures of those things, however you want to do it. Um, and so that is what the vocabulary temp chart looks like. Um, and you're going to um, use that temp chart when we get to the Project Lead the Way book. And if I go back um, to the Digital Doodle um, informational page, there's a Project Lead the Way button right here. And I have it clicked to be able to open directly to that page in the book. Um, the problem is you're going to need to log in. Now, what we've come to find out is if you've had middle school gateway or a different project lead the way class your my pltw um, username and password should be the same um, if it's not what i've done was i have created a folder cse uh, folder so it has uh, the name of the student cse in 2020 and 21 there inside that folder i put a, f a file called usernames and the document looks like this. Where I have it blurred out right here is a um, username. And then if you've already got a password set, um, you're good to go. Try it. If not, I might have already reset it to computer 2020. If you can't get in, email me. I'll give you a new password. And I'll probably make it computer 2020 just to make it easy. And you can get in and start working. Okay? All right. Let's go back to the assignment then. So we're going to talk through the vocab. 
And if I go here, what I want you to do, and it'll actually look like this on your screen, I want to go through and I want to kind of just start skimming. I'm not really reading for detail. I'm just kind of looking and skimming. And so anytime I see one of these, I can just take this, hit control C, and then paste that into my temp chart. Does that make sense? Okay. So then I'm going to fill out my temp chart and I'm going to upload it. After I finish the temp chart, that means I've scanned the documents, um, I've walked through, I kind of understand some of the vocabulary, I kind of have a direction of where we're going. Then what we do is we complete this activity as directed on this page. So if all goes according to plan, that should pop up. Okay. And get started with block-based programming, Digital Doodle. And you'll start going from here. Here's the same video you probably already watched. And then this will be your actual notebook assignment. And so you will fill in the blanks to this document as you go through this activity. So, for example, the first question is, what is a user story? As I'm reading through this, I'm going to notice some things that happen, and guess what? User story. Okay, what is a user story? And then I just answer those questions. After you've completed this worksheet, go ahead and upload it. Then you'll notice, um, if I go back to modules, you're going to see that I have the notebook. Now I have here, check for understanding. And this is just a little quiz. And after you've taken the little quiz, there is a challenge. And the challenge is just an extra piece of code to see if you can do it. And so there are some directions right here on a PDF document that will open probably. And just for fun, see if you can add some additional features to your app. Um, and then upload that app here. Okay. Sounds like a lot of work, but it's really just kind of a lot of reading. Uh, and that's the way the Project Lead the Way curriculum is set up for this class. Um, as you finish, turn them in. If you have any questions, let me know. Have a great day.